Hey guys, Ray here, welcome to the channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. So I recently had a surge on my house and then my basement furnace was no longer working. So I went down, looked at the furnace, looked at my Nest thermostat. I noticed there was an error on there that said there's no power to my red wire, my thermostat. So I called my furnace guy, he came over, he took a look at it and he gave me two suggestions. He said, try the first suggestion, if that doesn't work, go ahead and try this second fix. So I ordered some parts. So let's go down there, take a look. I'll show you what he was showing me and let's see if we can get this furnace working. Okay, here is the furnace. Now it doesn't show that error anymore because uh, this, was, this has a little battery in there and um, I was able to plug this in to charge the battery. So it's not showing that error anymore, but uh, the furnace still isn't running. Sometimes when I let this sit here, it will um, say there's no power uh, to your equipment, something along the lines of that. But anyways, uh, so I uh, did tested all these wires with my voltmeter and there's no power coming to any of these wires. Usually there's 24 volts, specifically coming to this red one. And when I measure across the red to the common, there should be 24 volts. But uh, that's definitely not there right now. Nothing is there, no power at all. But so this will eventually go dead um, because there's no power supplying it. So it's still not working. But let's go ahead and look at the furnace. So if I go behind this wall, this is the wire that goes from my uh, thermostat there. It's up here. It comes down into uh, the side of the furnace here. There we go. That's a little bit better lighting. So now we can. Uh, Let's pull this off this cover although this is a day and night furnace the steps I use to fix this furnace are definitely transferable to other brands There's the wire it goes back here so this on you can see that here's the uh, thermostat wire winds around here goes up here connects onto this board everything looked good there on on the board and my furnace guy also uh, first thing he checked was this fuse just to make sure the fuse wasn't blown, but that fuse right there, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that fuse, it wasn't blown. You can look in there and see the wire and measure that it's, uh, it's a good fuse. So he said that it's most likely this transformer. Okay, so what my furnace guy did was he made sure there's power here. He came down here and then um, this little switch will energize this board and so basically what this is what this uh, transformer does so if i'll zoom in on here so basically it takes in let's see if i can see that here um black wire and black and white you can see there's 120 volts that comes through that 120 volts ac it goes through this transformer and then 24 volts ac comes out and so a the uh, 120 volts ac goes through this side and then, uh, you know, the 24 volts comes out here and then lands right here. So if I unplug this, you can see um, that's where the 120 volts comes into the board. So anyways, that's where the uh, 24 volts goes into the board. And furnace guy measured uh, this and there's no uh, voltage coming out of this uh, transformer here. So I will just confirm that right now. Volts. So let's measure the output of this right now. Put my meter, put my tester on. There we go, nothing. Nothing coming out of this. So in order to buy a new transformer, I just looked online for a 24 volt transformer, made sure that it accepted 120 volts AC and it output 24 volts AC. And since I'm in North America, just made sure it had 60 hertz on there. But this is the new transformer. It has the exact same specs as the old one. Our new transformer. So it was pretty easy. I could just unplug the old transformer wire plugs and then just plug these in its place. We got a green light, so that's good. Okay, it's all plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn on the furnace. Let's see if we can get it working. Oh yeah, come on baby. 
So the fan you hear is actually just an exhaust fan running, clearing out any old gas before it attempts it. to start the furnace. And we have the green status code light just showing it's running. Now that orange light there is actually just the uh, furnace gas igniter. It's a really it. hot um, piece of metal that will ignite the gas as it blows by. Um, but I could never get it to ignite. And now you can see the status code light stopped blinking there. And now it's blinking a code. It's blinking um, six uh, times. And then it'll stop and blink another six times. Okay, I had the, the light blinking on and these are status codes and a bunch of things that could go wrong depending on uh, what status code you're getting. So that green light was blinking about six times. So if I look at this, uh, there could be quite a few items that could be wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and order a new board for this and put it in as my um, technician suggested. Okay, I got the new board here. So this ran me right about $200. Was gonna buy it from Amazon, but I saved a few bucks and ordered it from a, ordered it from a different website. But anyways, I probably should've went with Amazon because this took about 10 days to be delivered. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this board. I've taken a good pictures of this and tried to label some of these uh, connections so I know exactly where everything will go once I start disassembling it. So let's go ahead and do it. So these thermostat wires, they're the only ones I needed a screwdriver on. All the other ones just pop off just like a little Lego. Now some of them were a little harder to pull so I needed to get uh, pliers, but definitely I turned power off when messing uh, in here just to be safe. I'm also trying to wear rubber work gloves whenever I'm messing with uh, electrical components. Okay, I just realized I have the wrong board. I ordered the right part, but the website sent me the wrong board. So I'm just gonna order it from Amazon. Okay, I got the new board. I ordered this from Amazon. It was a little more expensive, but it came super fast. Okay, that took me just under 10 minutes to install. So, uh, okay, so this part was about $20, this transformer. They were gonna charge me $500 for this. This cost me $200 or about, and that was about 10 minutes to install. They were gonna charge me $2,000 to replace this board. Now, uh, seems kind of price pricey. Um, they are trying to make a living. Uh, do you think that's overpriced for the services they uh, provide here? But anyways, that's what the company was going to charge. He showed me on his notebook. That's what they usually charge. So I can't speak too soon because I don't know if this is going to be fixed, but let's try it out. Uh, yeah, these are the steps that the technician was going to follow. Yeah, I showed the technician my DIY solar power system I have installed in my garage. And uh, I do have a video on this as well if you want to check that out. But the technician was pretty nice because he was, could show me these things after I showed him my solar power system so that was really nice of him okay i'm going to turn my power back on here okay it just turned on um okay let's see if it's, it's trying to send power to the furnace right now i hope this works There's the heat coil. I think this is a startup process. Hopefully this works. Oh, come on. Okay, unfortunately it's not turning on, but it is blinking with a status code, just like before. Six times, just like before. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nice, check it out, it's actually working now. Look at that, that is great. So, with it blinking six times, the uh, gas igniter was lighting up, it was like 
ex trying, it was like it was expecting gas, and one of the things to check is the uh, gas valve. So I have gas coming in here, and then there's an electric valve that should turn on and uh, push gas into the furnace here. So what I end up doing is, um, I think this was shows it's expecting 24 volts. I think this is 24 volts AC. So I basically pulled these terminals off and I was checking the voltage and I started it when I was checking the voltage and it looked like it was sending um, 24 volts right when that igniter would light up. And so it looked like it was working properly. So I was thinking I was gonna have to buy a new um, gas valve here, but I uh, turned everything off, off, plugged it back in and I started it one more time. And I guess whenever I, when I restarted it, um, yeah, this is working now. So yeah, everything's working. You know, it might've been this the whole time. I may not have needed to uh, replace that board at all. Maybe I just needed to uh, restart this, and uh, for some reason this is working out. It's working great. So if you are a technician that works a lot with furnaces, let me know what I did wrong here. Let me know if there was diff anything that you would have done differently in troubleshooting this unit. Let me know what you would have charged to uh, fix this unit. Because I replaced the board and that transformer, I believe I saved you know about $2,000 in doing that myself. Now, if anyone else wants to see how I installed this emergency generator plug for my furnace so I could run my furnace in case the power goes out, go ahead and look at the video right here. And if you want to see another video that YouTube thinks you will like for my channel, go ahead and look at this video here. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We will talk to you later.